Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be going through answering maths questions in A-level biology. I'll be going through a very useful tip that you can use for the most occurring exam questions in biology uh, to help you answer it, especially if you struggle with maths in biology. Okay, so on to the first example. So in this example, it says that the rate of blood flow through a dialysis machine is 200 centimeters cubed per minute. Calculate how long it would take the dialysis machine to process five decimeters cube of blood. Now the method I use is looking at the units. So in this, this example, we have 200 centimeters cubed per minute, and we have five decimeters cubed and we've been asked to provide our answer in minutes. So what I realize now is that my volume is in different units. So I have centimeters cubed there and I have decimeters cubed here. So what I need to do is I need to convert uh, either the centimeter cubed to the decimeter cubed or decimeter cubed to centimeter cubed. So what I'm gonna do is just convert the centimeter cubed to decimeter cubed. So I'll just do 200 divided by a thousand and I get 0 0.2 decimeters cubed and that's again minute to the power of minus one. So now I have both of the volume in decimeters cubed. Looking at the units for my final answer, I can see that they are minutes. We don't have decimeters cubed in them. So I know that I somehow need to get rid of my decimeter cubed and the only way I can do that is by dividing one number by the other. So I could either do 0 0.2 divided by 5 or I could do 5 divided by 0 0.2. And this is because, so for example, if I had 0 0.2 decimeters cubed a minute to the power of minus 1, and if I was to divide that by 5 decimeters cubed, what happens is the units cancel out. So they would cancel out like this. But then if, if I look at my other unit that's left over, I have minute to the power of minus one. And it's asked me to give my final answer as minute, not as minute to the power of minus one. So I know from this that it should be the other way around. So it should be instead five decimeters cubed divided by 0 0.2 decimeters cubed uh, and minute to the power of minus one. So now I'm getting rid of my units and uh, I am left with 1 over a uh, minute to the power of minus 1 and because I have 1 over minute to the power of minus 1 this the, the minute just basically goes at the top so I'm, ba I'm basically it's basically going to be 5 divided by 0 0.2 and I will have my minutes so 5 divided by 0 0.2 gives me 25 minutes so that would be my final answer now I know this looks a bit complex, but you don't need to do all of that. You can just do that in your head and it becomes easier if you if you have practiced this before. Um, so I will go through a few more exam questions similar to this. All right, so for this next question, it first tells me what GFR is. And then it says that in 24 hours, a person excreted 1,660 milligrams of creatinine in his urine and the concentration of creatinine in the blood entering his kidneys was constant at 0 0.01 uh, mg per centimeter cubed. And it's asked me to calculate the GFR in centimeters cubed per minute uh, to the power of minus one. So these are the final units we are looking for. So just writing down what I have. So I have 1660 mg, then I have 0 0.01 centimeters centimeters to the power of minus three and then I have 24 hours so again looking at my final units it's in centimeters cubed and uh, so I somehow need to get to centimeter cubed and I know that I won't have a milligrams in my final answer so I need to do a division right now so I can do 1660 uh, mg divided by 0 0.01 mg centimeters to the power of minus 3. Now I've 
purposely done this because I know I need to get to centimeters cubed. So I need to divide because the only centimeters cubed I have or any centimeters I have in this is centimeter to the power of minus three. So this needs to be at the bottom like this and for my final answer to be centimeter cubed. So if, if uh, let, let's just see how this works out. So 1660 divided by 0 0.01 and that will just get us to 166,000. Then mg's will cancel out and this centimeter cubed because it's basically one over centimeter uh, to the power of minus three. So that just comes to the top and this just becomes centimeter cubed. So this is what I have up to now. So I've got 166,000 centimeter cubed, but I need my final answer to be in minutes at minute to the power of minus one. So again, I need to be dividing by um, some form of minutes. I don't have any minutes here. I have 24 hours. So I need to convert this into minutes. So 24 times 60, and that will give us the minutes, which will be uh, in this case, 1,440 minutes. So then I need to, divide 166,000 centimeters cubed by 1,440 minutes and this will get us to our final answer which is 115.3 uh, and centimeters cubed minute to the power of minus one and this is my final answer. Okay so moving on to the final example a little bit more trickier so it says a student investigated the rate of anaerobic respiration in yeast and she put five grams of yeast into a glucose solution and placed this mixture in the apparatus shown in the figure below. Now there was a diagram but I've just removed this because we don't need it. Uh, she then carries on saying she then recorded the total volume of gas and collected every, every 10 minutes for one hour. And um, this shows the results and it finally says um, calculate the rate of gas production in centimeters cubed uh, grams to the power of minus one and minute to the power of minus one and this is during the first 40 minutes of this investigation okay so just looking at what i already have so i have five grams uh, from from the information i've been provided um, and it says first 40 minutes so i need to I need to be in minutes and it needs to be my first 40 minutes and I need my centimeters cubed now so centimeters cubed is the only unit that's left so I would need to look at my table for this so it says for the first 40 minutes so I need to be looking at the first 40 minutes um, so this is the th this is the time and I need to go up to the 40th minute and it says the total volume of gas collected is 3.1 so 3.1 centimeters cubed. So I can write this down as well. So I've got 3.1 centimeter cubed. So again, looking at my final unit, it should, needs to be centimeters cubed and grams to the power of minus one, minutes to the power of minus one. So I know that my 3.1 will be at the top. Uh, and then looking at the other two units, because it's to the power of minus one, I need to be dividing them. So it should be 5 times 40. Which is having a quick check with units. So this is basically centimeters cubed over grams my, uh, t multiplied by minutes. So this will basically end up giving us centimeters cubed and uh, grams to the power of minus 1 and minute to the power of minus 1. And the final answer uh, just being 0. 0 0.0155 so this is my final answer thank you so much for watching this video if you did like this video don't forget to subscribe to see more of these and you can watch my recent videos by clicking on the links popping up thank you